Good morning pupils of grade 5 Blossom. How is everyone doing today? Great, I'm glad that everyone is doing okay. How was your weekend? Nice, I'm glad that everyone enjoyed it. Now today before we start our new topic, I would like to share with you a very important video. Who would like to take a look at this video? Nice, everyone. Well, let's go into that video now. National wards are part of our national honor system. The wards embody our nation's values. They are tangible tokens of the respect which a grateful nation can bestow on its worthy citizens. We have reached out to some of the distinguished awardees to learn a bit about their work and thoughts on this momentous occasion. Tishao Nicholas Fredericks of Shilinab Region 9 was awarded the Golden Arrow of Achievement for his works in community development. Meanwhile, a young cricketer also relished in the moment of copying the Golden Arrow of Achievement award. It's great to be recognized at, at such a young age. I... Who would like to tell me what the video is all about? Yes, Mary? That's correct. It was about awards, but what kind of awards were they talking about? Yes, Troy? Yes, national awards. Judging from the video, does anyone know what today's topic will be about? Yes, class, you all are correct. Today we'll be looking at national awards. To begin our topic on national awards, we will first find out what is a national award. Let's read together the definition for a national award. On the count of three, we will begin. One, two, three. A national award is a form of recognition given by the nation to a person for outstanding contribution in a specific field of work. So basically, a national award is given to someone in honor of something good that they have done. Now that we know what is a national award, let's find out when Guyana first started to distribute these awards. On the count of three, we're going to read. One, two, three. Guyana's first national awards were introduced on the 23rd of February. 1970 republic day and do we know what is the other name for republic day yes class that's correct mashramani day so the first set of awards were given on that day the 23rd of february 1970 let's continue reading and find out where these recipients receive these awards on the count of three, one, two, three. National awards are distributed at the National Culture Center by the Executive President of Guyana at an investiture ceremony. Now class, we're going to take a look at a graphic chart of the different types of national awards and why these awards are given. Order of Excellence, this is given to citizens of Guyana that have made contributions of international significance. The second is Order of Arima, it's given to citizens and non-citizens of Guyana that have rendered valuable service to Guyana. Order of Service, the Order of Service comes in three grades. Kasi Crown of Honor, limited to 50 citizens and is given for outstanding public service or achieved excellence in a particular profession. It's a golden arrow of achievement, limited to 75 citizens and is given for outstanding public service or long and dedicated public service. Medal of service, limited to 100 citizens and is given for 10 years of dedicated public service or service to the community. The Medal of Service for Bravery also comes in three grades. These awards are given for bravery. 1. Kasikrang of Valor 2. Golden Arrow of Courage 3. President's Commendation for Brave Conduct Military Service Medals are given to members of the Guyana Defense Force, Guyana's People's Militia, 
and Guyana National Service. The awards in this category are Military Service Star and Military Service Medal. These are given for service beyond the call of duty. Efficiency Medal is given for 10 years service. Discipline Service Medals are given to members of the Police Force, Prison Service or Fire Brigade. The awards in this category are Discipline Service Star and Discipline Service Medal. Then there's another Discipline Service Medal that is given for long service. Now that we've took a look at the different type of awards and the meaning of each award, I'm sure you're curious to know what these awards look like. Now to help you with this, I'm going to take you on a gallery walk. Hi, Bay Blossom. Here we are at the National Award Gallery. Let's take a look at the awards. The first award we have here is the Order of Excellence, which is Guyana's highest award. Then we also have the Order of Service. And over here we have the Order of Roraima. After which we have the Cassie Crown of Valor. Then over here we have the Golden Arrow of Achievement. And below we have the Military Service Star. Then we have the President's Commendation for Brave Conduct. And over here is the Golden Arrow of Courage. After that, we have the Cassie Crown of Honor. Then class, over here we have the Medal of Service. And below the Medal of Service, we have the Military Service. Followed by the Efficiency Medal. And after the Efficiency Medal, we have the Discipline Service Star. Then we have the Discipline Service Medal for Meritorious Service. And finally, we have the Disciplined Service Medal for Long Service and Good Conduct. I know you're wondering who are some of these persons that receive these very important awards. Well, I'm going to share with you three of these persons. The late Mistress Janet Jagan. She was our first and only female president of Guyana. And she received a Order of Excellence Award, the late Viola Burnham. Now, she was the wife of our late president, Mr. Forbes Burnham, and she received an Order of Rima Award. Clive Lloyd. Now, Clive Lloyd was a cricketer, and he received the Cassie Crown of Honor. One thing to note about recipients after they have received a national award is that the way they sign their names is different. Let's read together how a recipient signs after receiving a national award. On the count of three, one, two, three. A recipient after receiving a national award writes his or her name and the abbreviation after. An example of this is Myrtle Emptage MS. This means that Myrtle Emptage received a Medal of Service. Now class, let's pretend as though we are recipients of national awards and we are signing our names. So in your book, you are going to sign your name and you're gonna place a comma and after the comma, you're going to write the abbreviation of the national award that you wish to receive. Is everyone finished? Great. Mary, can you share with the class what you wrote? Yes, that's correct. Mary said she wrote Mary Williams, comma, O-R. So that means that Mary received, that's correct, it means that Mary received the Order of Verima National Award. Now let's have Troy. Troy, what did you write? That's correct. Troy wrote, Troy Job, comma, O-E. 
So that means Troy received. That's correct. Troy received the order of excellence. Great job. Class, now I have here for you some awards. And these awards are given to soldiers of the Guyana Defense Force. The one here is called a Border Defense Medal. And over here we have another Border Defense Medal. And the one next to it is the 50th Anniversary Medal. Now these medals are earned for defending Guyana at our borders. And the other award is for celebrating the 50th anniversary. So what we're going to do with these awards is that we're going to role play and pretend as though we are receiving national awards. I'm going to call your name and the award that you are receiving. You're going to come up and receive your award. Is everyone ready to play along? Great. Tyrone Daniels, Order of Excellence. Tanisha James, Military Service Award. Roy George, The Discipline Service Star. Let's give all our recipients at our investiture ceremony a big round of applause for their contribution to Diana. We have learned so much about national awards today. Let's have a quiz time to see what we know. I would like everyone to take out their social studies books and pencils. And you're going to write the answer to the question. If the answer is A, you're going to write A. If it's B, you're going to write B. If it's C, you're going to write C. Or if it's D, you're going to write D. Now, the first question is, Mr. Chan is citizen of Guyana has served with distinction and rendered valuable services nationally and internationally. He would most likely receive the A, Order of Service, B, Cassie Crown of Valor, C, Order of Verima, or D, Order of Excellence. Okay. So what answer did you put? Yes, that's correct. The answer is C, order of Rorima. Question two. Some villages along the coastline experience flood during the rain season. Mr. Marks is soldier rendered assistance while home on vacation. Choose the award that he will most likely receive a order of Rima, b order of excellence c the efficiency medal or d military service star Troy, what answer did you get a is Troy correct would he receive order of Rima? No, he's not correct. Class, what's the answer? Yes, that's correct. The answer is D. He will receive the military service star. Question number three. When were national awards first introduced to Guyana? A. May the 26th, 1966. B. February the 23rd, 1970. C. May the 5th. 1966 or D October the 6th 1980 is everyone finished writing good now Antoinette can you tell the class what's your answer okay Antoinette said B February the 23rd 1970 is she correct yes she is that's the answer class before you go here is your homework in the space below write the name of one Guyanese who received the following national awards on your right there are six national awards and on your left you are going to write the name of one Guyanese who received each of the following awards this has brought us to the end of our topic on national awards 
I'll see you later. Bye-bye.